Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mojo. Welcome back to another video, my friends. I am here today to tell you guys the amazing, awesomeness build that I have achieved that I believe is better than what everybody else thinks is the amazing, awesomeness build. If you guys don't know, a while back, we're just gonna have a dumbass update to nerf universal damage. You know what I mean? Uh, back in the day, I believe we were able to achieve like 200, 201 damage, but now there's a little bit of a damage soft cap where you can't really go over a certain amount of damage, and everybody is kind of stuck in the 170-ish area, which means that finding the best of the best damage gear and, and, and just going for straight damage don't no longer matter because even if you did do that, um, you wouldn't really achieve uh, the damage that you would if the soft damage cap wasn't there, which kind of changed the meta up a little bit, changed some gear around that uh, players would use, and I believe that I have personally found the best meta gear out there currently for Wizard 1 1 for Fire Wizards. So I haven't done this on any other wizards since I kind of just don't have any other wizards but for my fire wizard I have found it so for you fellow fire wizards out there you can also follow along with my gear if you want the best of the best uh fire stats out there possibly all around uh so yeah let's go ahead and get started now I will say that all of this gear that I am using is all personal preference you can change it up however you see fit you might not agree with what I have on and you might not think that this is the best gear to gear the meta gear the gear to gear, 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 gear you know what i mean but personally i do believe it and i'm going to show you guys now so the old meta gear call it the old meta gear or what the the more so more round meta gear or what everyone believes is a meta gear uh is what this guy has on is blaine fire thief it's not a bad setup i will be honest it's not a bad setup it's pretty much like your go-to gear to get if you want the best of the best stats without also having literally the best of the best stats now let me explain this guy is rocking the dragoon fiery helmet he's basically rocking a dragoon set with the boots um the helmet and the uh in the amulet so he's getting that set bonus uh from those three he also has the all damage frillazor he's rocking the malister uh robe he's rocking a fossil avenger skull crusher you know with the set bonus of that he's rocking the edge of the shadow web and he's also rocking the director's thermal rain it's not a bad setup his stats are as follows he's rocking 176 damage 27 universal resistance 32 accuracy He's got, uh, you know, 7,000 health. Um, he's got 630 critical rating. There's his block rating. No stun resist. No incoming and healing. Uh, 11 peers. 655 pip conversion. 100 power pip. And 121 shadow pip rating. Now, I will say some of my stats are a little bit lower than his. But there's one stat that I have that uh, is just blowing his stat out of the park. So I'm going to show you guys my stats real quick. We're going to compare and contrast both of the stats of both characters. Um, so as you can see, my damage is 174, while his is 176. He has 2% more damage than me, but I feel like 2% damage doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's it's literally two, literally it's literally two. Um, my resist is 24 universal resistance with a little bit more resistance towards life in uh, ice. Eh, life and ice, you know, usually aren't the strongest schools out there, so the resist really doesn't matter all that much. And there's not a lot of bosses out there that are life or ice. So, I mean, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, his is 27 universal resistance, so he has 3% more universal resistance than me. At the end of the day, it's only 3%. doesn't really matter to me. Um, you know, I get like a shit ton of ice in life, which, you know, like I said before, but I mean, still, I guess. Um, my accuracy is 34 uh percent accuracy for the fire and center percent accuracy for everything else is a 32 i get center percent accuracy on everything else but i really don't use all the other schools and i get two percent on fire which is eh, it's, it's mediocre it's all right now we go over to the advanced character statistics i said that wrong but i don't care i'm getting 570 critical rating he's getting 640 so he's getting about you know like a solid mm, 70 70 ish percent i'm not percent but 70 uh more critical rating than me which is a decent amount However, I don't believe it's enough to really be a game changer um, in a grand scheme of things. You know, some people might disagree with me. Some people might agree with me. It is what it is. Um, he has more block rating than me, 140 block rating out of 335. Not really that big of a difference is block rating, so who cares? Now, the big thing for me is the armor piercing. 
He has 11% armor piercing, I have 29, which is pretty much 30, which is uh, like 20 more armor piercing than him. You know what I mean? So if we're talking about a nice little tower shield, uh, a tower shield for him will be minus 40% damage. A tower shield for me will be minus 20%. That's a big, that's a big percentage of, 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 of damage, you know, or to be pierced. If we're talking about going against bosses like Omen String Bean or Ethereal Element, you know, or any other boss out there, maybe even Corporal Titty, you know what I mean? That armor piercing really comes in key when you you don't have any pierces or any shadows on the play and you need to you know pierce through a, a nice little tower shield that's in your way that's being annoying you know what i mean so that, that that really comes in handy which is why i believe that this build that i have is better than his build mainly because the armor piercing is his is here mine is here but when it comes to all the other stats they're close together where they don't really matter all too much um except that armor piercing now the gear that i'm rocking um, I am rocking currently. I'm rocking the Dragoon Fiery Helmet. Um, I'm rocking the Royal Fisher's Dress Coat, which is a very key part in this gear. I'll explain later. Um, my boots is a Dragoon Fiery Boots. Rocking the same one. I'm rocking the Edge of the Raging Daystar. I could probably switch this up with the Edge of the Shadow Web if I wanted that 1% extra damage. Um, but to me, the 1% extra damage doesn't really mean shit. I'd rather have that 2% accuracy along with that 2% power pip than that 1% extra damage. So that's why I rock the Edge of the Raging Daystar instead of the Edge of the Shadow Web. For my amulet, I'm rocking the Dragoon Fiery Amulet, of course. And for the ring, i'm rocking the director's thermal ring now the two pieces of gear or three i guess you could say that's completely different that i have that he doesn't have is on my frillizar i'm rocking a resistance uh, little talent which gives me 11 percent uh, more resistance which is very very key i'm rocking the royal features dress coat instead of the robe of the malice deer, um or the radiant light brigade god some of these i just can't talk bro some of these i'm just not saying right but those two and i'm also rocking the theme now this royal features dress coat you can only get during christmas time which is right around the corner so you guys be prepared for that and this is the strongest robe in the entire game it gives the most amount of damage out of any other robe by three percent i think the light brigade armor is the second in place so that's an extra three percent damage now it is lacking in the resistance department which is why i put resistance on my pet instead um which really helps out and the main thing about this row which is key is the pierce um this one doesn't give pierce this one doesn't give pierce but this one does give pierce you know what i mean which is really 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 good and it also gives the most amount of power pip uh than any other row that's out there kind of ish um so that's really really key as well and also is the reason why i have that 29 uh, life resist and that 14 uh, ice resist this allows me to maintain decent uh resistance uh also having uh, you know a decent amount of damage having more accuracy you know keeping up with the power pip of course with 97 it's not 100 but you know i never see it fail 97 is close to 100 in my book um but if you guys really want to get that 100 percent just go get the rock mount you know i'm not really using any mounts with this to boost any of my stats and if i were i could just get the rock mount for a you know extra three percent power pip if i wanted to but it's really that armor piercing that comes in key that comes in handy uh the armor piercing i'm get from the robe and the athame which is really really nice all three of those combined along with the dragon fiery helmet which gives me extra five gifts it helps me get to that 29 which is really really good but yeah that's why i believe that this is the best meta uh setup gear guide out there it's harder to get considering you can only get this during christmas and i'm not sure how many people have an all damage with one resist talents so i'll or out there um but yeah if you guys want to just copy down this setup then you know feel free to do so and uh you guys can just be freaking amazing people you know what i mean now there might be a few people out there that's like man that's really low critical rating do i really want to trust this guy's advice and get you know a setup that has 70 less critical rating than the regular regular setup that everybody else is going for now i did you know play around with my gear a little bit more and i figured out another setup if you guys want to follow that as well i changed out my robe and now i am using the radiant light brigade robe or i should probably tell you my stats first so my stats basically is 643 critical rating it was like 570 before uh now it rose up to uh 640 which is more than the previous guy's critical rating by like you know 
four. But, you know, it's pretty much still the exact same. Um, and I'm also rocking 23 armor piercing, which is still a significant amount more than uh, my man Blaine here by, like, you know, 12, which is pretty solid. Um, my damage is 173, so my damage went down a little bit compared to his, 176. Um, my resistance is now higher, 28 universe resist, 32 accuracy, of course. And, uh, you know, everything else is pretty much the same. I now have 103 power pip, if that's something that you care about. And yeah, so basically what I'm rocking or what I changed with my gear, everything's pretty much the same except I'm rocking the Radiant Light Brigade armor now. Um, on my deck, I have uh, Power Pip socketed instead of having Accuracy socketed, which is really, really nice. For my pet, I'm using all damage for Lazar with a 5% Accuracy socket. I feel like you could probably get something higher than 5%, but you know, I'm rocking just a 5%. And that's pretty much the only things that I really changed. Uh, on my gear so if you want to make those changes so you can get more uh, more more critical ratings since this does have 100 critical rating versus the royal fuchsias which only has 55 um if that's you know a change that you want to have then you know i advise you to go for it but uh yeah you know i feel like you know this is kind of just the regular dagler go-to setup with the uh the whole malister robe and everything i'm not saying that it's bad but you know i feel like there's some other combinations of gear that you can get out there that where you can still have the top of the line gear and i just wanted to bring that you know to everyone's attention and everything but yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video you know don't forget to leave that like uh appreciate you guys being here you guys have an amazing morning afternoon afternoon evening whatever the fuck and i'll see you guys later so goodbye <laughs> Ha ha ha